Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Maison African Motives, uh, still working on industrial electronics and tool. Uh, in this platform, we are going to be focusing on the present paper, uh, which was written in June 2022. So uh, actually we worked with this uh, present paper from other parts. Now we are on the last person, which is our question five. And uh, that's 20 marks on this uh, person five, as we can see, it is a total of 20 marks. So we are not going to waste much time. I'm just going to quickly rush through the questions uh, and you see how much, how easier these questions are. Okay, 5.1, we are given, give four uh, precautionary measures, that is the precautions that are supposed to be taken uh, to follow when using an ohm meter. Whenever you're using an ohm meter, what are the precautions that you're supposed to take in place? All right, so what are these precautions, guys, uh, that we have? That's our 5.1 here. We need the precautions. So uh, there are so many precautions that we have um, whenever we are working with uh, an ohm meter. But the first thing first is when you, whenever you're selecting, uh, you're supposed to work with the highest scale. That is the first thing that you're supposed to have. Okay, let me do it by writing. Okay, so the first thing always uh, select the highest. Okay, always select uh, the highest scale best okay so that's the first thing guys that you're supposed to do okay when you are when you start taking measurements okay when you start uh, taking measurements that's measurements okay easy uh like that okay the second thing uh what are we supposed to have never leave the meter on the ohm scale. Okay, so never leave the meter on the ohm scale. Right, so that's what you're gonna have as a precaution. Okay, another part, uh, never take the reading when the power is applied to the circuit. Okay, never do that. Guys, we are engineers to come. So never do this when now you're an engineer now. Okay, so never leave uh okay not leave but we are now taking measurements now okay so never take measurements okay or a reading never take uh a reading when power is applied just like what i said when power is applied to the second to the second that's what you're not supposed to do. All right, uh, the D part or the other, that's the fourth part, one, two, three, four. Okay, we said four, okay. So never touch the tips of the test probe, that is the props there. Never, never do that as you die, okay? So never touch uh, the tips of the test props. Okay, that is uh, uh, the pro that the probes that you uh, will remember when you are connecting them. They, they are those probably those tips never touch them. Okay, so you can actually obtain four marks, just one, 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 and so on. So that's it on five point one. The other part we are now asked to draw the series type ohm meter. We are talking about the ohm meter now. They are asking us to draw, but what type? It's a series type. Okay, so that's our five point two. We just need to draw uh, the series ohm meter okay the series ohm meter is very very simple circuit that you are not supposed to lose marks on this one okay so the first thing is you've got your ohm meter uh the resistors because remember this is series okay so i'm gonna have the resistor here uh okay another resistor here uh it's actually a variable uh so hey guys guys just pardon just pardon me I know, I know, I know, I'm not good at drawing, but uh, I hope it makes sense. It makes sense or it will make sense. Okay, the series resistors are connected. Um, we're gonna have another resistor. All right, just like that. The supply, don't forget the supply voltage. So we've got our battery here, which is the supply voltage. All right, so that's what our circuit is gonna be like. So we have got uh, 
our ohmmeter, the or the ohm, the resistor. So these are actually resistors. Yes, it's an ohmmeter, but it's actually connected in terms of what? In terms of the resistors. Okay. So that's what we are going to have. And this is the supply. You know, your positive, negative. So that is the supply. Or you can write the battery here. So this will be uh, the battery. All right. Or the supply. That's where we are going. Just like that, guys, we've got six marks. Six marks, guys. Never lose marks when you are doing industrial electronics and to never, never, never do that. Okay, anyways, uh, the 50, uh, the third part was 5.3, that is 5.3, that is third question from this question paper, define the avometer. Okay, so the avometer, guys, is a direct, as we can see, I talk about current, ampere, voltage, and the last part, which is the ohm meter. So it's a combination of the ammeter, voltmeter, and the altmeter. But let me just define in a way that uh, the department wants you to write these answers. Okay, so that's 5.3. So what's an avometer? All right, so we're gonna have this described uh, as a multimeter. So this is a multimeter. It's actually giving a lot of things because it serves a lot of things here. So it's a multimeter. Uh, which serves as, now we list an ammeter. Okay, so the first thing is an ammeter as an um, meter that is the ampere meter. Okay, so we've got the ampere meter there. Voltage, that is a voltmeter. Okay, so that's our A there. Then uh, the V, that's a voltmeter. A voltmeter. That is the V. Then we have got the last one, the O, that is the ohm meter. Okay. And an ohm meter. That's ohm, then meter. All right. So that's an ohm meter, which is the O there. So as you can see, if you can trace uh, along uh, the abbreviations there, you can tell what is happening uh, from this part. Okay. So that was 5.3. 5.4, I'm just going to remove this part so that I can work it here so that you can understand what is happening here. So I'm just going to remove this part. Okay, on 5.4, we are given that there is an operational amplifier that has got the input impedance. Yeah, that is the resistance. So you can write this as R or Z. It's just the input imp impedance. So we've got RI, which is the resistance of 600 ohms, uh, which is connected to the speaker of 10 ohms. Uh, okay, so the input then is connected to a 10 ohm speaker. Remember, speaker is always at the output, okay? So that's the output. So our output is 10 ohms. Where am I getting eight? This is 10 ohms, the output, okay? Calculate the voltage across the speaker, which is the output. So you need the output voltage if the input current may not exceed two milliamps. So we have got the input current of two milliamps. Remember two milliamps? simply means milli, that's two times 10 to the power of minus three amps. Okay, that's milli times 10 to the power minus three with a gain of 40 decibels for the amplifier. So we are given uh, the gain in this case of what? Of 40 decibels. Okay, so that's our NP, which is 40 decibels. Okay. So take note what you are supposed to calculate. Okay, uh, I want you to take, I, I just want you to, to, to get back to the formulas that you have. Uh, we know that uh, for us to have uh, the gain, okay? Our gain, which is our NP is given by the formula, uh, 10 log of the P out, okay? So this is P out over P in, okay? So I can just write P out, P in, so that we understand each other, okay? So that is actually the formula for NP, okay? And I want you, I want us to, to, to concentrate on this formula. We have got the gain there, okay? From this uh, input here, we have got uh, the resistance, the input resistance and the input current. That means we can calculate the input power. We can have the input power here. Here we cannot have anything because we do not have the voltage or even the current. So it's impossible for us to have the output power. So what are we going to do? We can calculate the power output because we know that it's related to these characteristics because we've got the output resistance 
output voltage. So if we can calculate the output power, it's going to be a easier for us to calculate the voltage. Why? Remember, guys, if we have got this power and we have got resistance and voltage, we know that power is equal to the voltage squared over resistance squared. But this is for the output. So the all that I'm writing here is for the output, 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 output. Okay. So let's trace back. How are we going to calculate the power output now from this information that we are given? Okay, let's fill in. Uh, but before that, we need the input power because here we just talked about the input power we didn't calculate. So how do we calculate the input power when we are given current and resistance? We know that power is equivalent to I squared R. So it's going to be I squared times the resistance, which is the input, the input. Okay, so the input power is going to be I squared. That is two times 10 to the power of minus three squared times the resistance of 600 ohms. Okay, that's a resistance of 600 ohms. Then we have got the input power. So by doing this, it can actually be simplified from your calculator. Make sure you use your calculator properly. Most of you guys, that is where we actually fail everything on using our calculator. So open brackets, right? Two times 10 to the power of minus three, close the bracket to the exponent of two. Whatever that you get, you multiply to 600. So that's it. We've got the input power of 2.4 times 10 uh, to the power minus three, okay? So that's 2,4 times 10 to the power minus three. 2,4 times 10 to the power minus three watts, okay? Uh, which is something like 2,4 milliwatts, or you can just leave it, because we want to use this value later on, so leave it like that. All right, now our purpose is to calculate the power output. So from this information that we are given here, we can fill in here from our NP, because we have got our NP of 40, so 40 is equivalent to 10, the log of the power output, which is the one that we want to calculate over the input power. So this we calculated here, the input power, we got it as two comma four times 10 to the power of minus three. Okay, so that's what you're going to have this. We are now into our mathematics. So what does, how do we calculate this from our mathematical skills? Uh, yes, we can just divide by 10. That's the first thing that you can do because 10 is just multiplying. So divide by that 10 both sides. That means uh, this can cancel the 10 and the 10 can cancel. And what do we have? 40 divided by 10, that's a straight four. So this one is four, which is equivalent to log P out over P in, which is two comma four times 10 to the power minus three. Okay, what happens is that you uh, back to our mathematics, when a log is given like this, it is in base of 10. If the base is not given, it means it is in base of 10. And we know that there is a great relationship that we can actually have from this statement here. The logarithm of A in base of B, if it is equal to C, it can be written as A is equal to B to the exponent of C in index form. So in this case, our A, this is our A, uh, this is our B, which is the best, this is our C. So A here, this is our A, okay? So we are saying A is equal to B to the exponent of C. That is this A here, which is P out over uh, two comma four times 10 to the power minus three is equal to the best, which is B to the exponent of C. So that is the best of 10 to the exponent of four. So it's 10 to the exponent of four. So like that, we can cross multiply because this is same as over one. And as we know, guys, our cross multiplication enables us to multiply one times P naught, which is P out, which is P out is equal to, uh, cross multiply is gonna be two comma four times 10 to the power minus three times 10 to the power of four. So we can have the output power. But take note, that is what, well, that is not what the question is all about but is going to assist us to calculate what we are given by the question. So let's just insert our values into the calculator. Okay, 2,4 times 10 to the power minus three is already there. So I'm just going to multiply by 10 to the exponent of four. And this is going to give us 24 watts. So that was the output power of 24 watts. Okay, so if this is our output, remember what I said here between the output, the output is given as V naught out over R out, that is V out uh, voltage squared over resistance squared. And we have that power output here as 24 watts. Okay, so we are going to take it from this statement now. We now have the power output 
which is 24 watts. How can we calculate now the voltage? Because the question was for us to calculate the voltage across the speaker, which is V out. So there it's going to be easier for us to calculate V out. You can insert your values if you want here. Uh, 24 is equal to V out dot, which is the voltage squared over the resistance. We have the resistance out, our, our resistance out is 10. So this is gonna be 10. So using your mathematical skills, you can cross multiply to remove the fraction one times V squared, that is V squared is equal to 24 times 10, which is 240. So to find V, just input the square root both sides. That's how you remove the square. This one removes the square. So it will neutralize everything. So V is equal to the square root of 24, which is the square root of 240, not 24. So it's got square root of 240, which is as a decimal 15,4. 4919, which is 15,492. Okay, so that's 15,492. 15,492. This is voltage, and we know that voltage is measured in volts. So this is V, which is V out. So we can just write it as V out. So therefore, V out is equal to 15,492 uh, volts. Okay, so that's what you're going to have. Uh, as you can see, yeah, this question was somehow yeah, straight, uh, stretching you because we had to calculate a lot of things uh, is different from that question, which asked you to calculate the gain. Now they have given you the gain. Uh, they want you now to calculate the voltage out. So guys, please make sure that you understand your formulas and how to transpose your formulas, applying your mathematical skills. So make sure that you also watch videos on maths so that you also know how to work out with the logarithms and how to uh, calculate for unknown values, uh, so on. So that's what we had, guys, for Maison African Motives, working on uh, industrial electronics, N2 for the time. Uh, let us keep on uh, tuned in. And also don't forget to share our social media platforms, your friends, our Facebook platform, uh, YouTube platform to your friends so that they also can benefit from this information that we are having. Uh, while we are preparing for the exams to come, uh, that's it, guys, till we meet again.